Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a REL system's superior approach to steam energy management made possible by our foundational dynamic data reconciliation technology. Data reconciliation is the concept that we can use the many measurements collected from a process and validate them against each other using a high fidelity model. This way we can eliminate faulty measurements and correct for bias in the data. This becomes the foundation for the successful implementation of a process optimization. I will demonstrate this idea using Aurel's simulator CADSIM Plus and a steam generation process initialized after data reconciliation is run. Here we can see a simulation of power generation in a typical craft pulp mill, and we will take it for a drive into the future. We have three boilers producing steam, a recovery boiler that burns black liquor, a hog boiler that burns wood scrap such as bark, and finally a package boiler that burns natural gas. The steam from these boilers is used to generate electricity by passing it through turbo generators such as these, or make extra steam by desuperheating it after this pressure reducing valve. Finding optimal operating conditions for these boilers and turbo generators is important to reduce operational costs of purchased electricity and fuels, and to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. Even small efficiency gains can have millions of dollars worth of value. This is a difficult problem, however. A pulp process is always changing, not in the least due to regular changes in the production. Using this model, backed by dynamic data reconciliation, we have a true representation of the process as it currently exists. We use this to drive the simulated process into the future, and see how changes to fuel usage and steam distribution will affect costs and greenhouse gas emissions. To demonstrate this, I'll focus on this panel within the simulation. As the simulation runs, cost and greenhouse gas savings will be represented here as deviations from this current baseline condition on these gauges. First, the natural gas boiler is currently being fed 15 tons per hour of water. I'm going to change that to 12 tons per hour. We can see that this change is worth half a million dollars per year in energy savings. Let's try shutting the natural gas boiler down entirely. That's worth $2.2 million a year. We haven't made much change in electrical use yet, but we have saved 15,000 tons per year of greenhouse gases. Adjusting fuel usage saved us significant amounts of money and greenhouse gases. Now we can investigate steam distribution through the turbo generators. First, I'll reset our savings meter. I'm going to increase steam flow by 20 to 390 tons per hour. That's worth $0.8 million a year. That was beneficial, so let's increase it another 20 to 410 tons per hour. That's even better for cost savings, but we notice that the greenhouse gas savings decrease. Increasing another 20 to 430 tons per hour now, we have lost our energy savings, and the greenhouse gas savings are worse than when we began. There's obviously an optimal sweet spot. Naturally, manually doing what if with a simulation is interesting, but this exercise can be automated with optimization routines. Doing this will give an energy manager real-time suggestions on the best conditions to run their steam plant at. Optimizers like this have been attempted before, however they do not do well because they are based on simple arithmetic models of the process driven by uncorrected data coming from the plant. Our method succeeds because the optimization is built on fully dynamic, high fidelity representation of the actual operating process through a proven dynamic data reconciliation system that has corrected for the measurements. Millions of dollars and tons of greenhouse gas savings are being left on the table by processors that cannot capitalize on the potential operational savings. With Arel's foundational dynamic data reconciliation technology and a proper process model, an optimizer can finally succeed. You cannot get to where you want to be if you do not know where you are right now.